marchy moment. Um, okay, we're gonna turn our attention to tumbled leather that when you get up close is gonna look pebbled. We're gonna turn our attention to like that signature buckle loafer concept, but with a little bit of a platform. So it's kind of old meets new. And this one, which comes in medium and wides and ships as well for free, is new right now in these colors. Um, Syrah. Syrah has a silver tone chain over the top of the vamp, most limited. Black, which, oh, they are so lightweight, which has this like burnished oil rubbed brass tone. And same with the cream of which pay attention to the outsole as well because the cream has a cream outsole and that's pretty fetch. And um, I'm slipping these on as we Great speak. Great color combinations on these. And you know, I think you spelled it out really beautifully, Sean, that these, I mean, <sighs> it's, you've got that chunky loafer look, but you haven't got the weight that's often associated with that type of loafer. So exceedingly lightweight because we have given you that, uh, that really lightweight outsole that is still flexible, but is still providing you with that look um, with, with that really great casual comfortable loafer look and I think this is a perfect option again to be able to dress up or dress down no matter what the occasion might be and uh, I particularly love the hardware detail on that that little chain detail is a really beautiful eye-catching contrast uh, to this style and then I love the fact too that we put that little rand that little tan leather rand around uh, that the, the mm -hmm, black there mm -hmm. just to really sort of break up otherwise it's going to look really really heavy uh, on the foot if it was all black so I think just that that little oh ran there around the middle so does lighten it up. Oh, and by light. the way, again, your orthotics are worth 40 bucks easily that you're getting inside the loafer that you can slip into another flat shoe. Um, but this right here is why, because I'm not even a loafer wearer, although mm -hmm. my mom asked me today, because her favorite shoes of all time are your loafers. Yeah. And she was like, do they have any more loafers? And I was like, I don't know, mom, I haven't seen any. I, I, I think maybe it's just, you know, There's... it's not trends moment for a loafer. And then look, and here, it is. here are the new loafers. <laughs> so, um, but nonetheless, it's it's the the lightweight story, the leather story. But my maybe favorite part, other than the obvious comfort story, is that you guys added this like sawtooth platform outsole mm -hmm. that makes these look a little rugged and cool. But there's still an elegance to them, and I think that's that's the beauty of them. You've got this super soft tumbled uh, leather, as you said, and it's got that pebbled look to it. But that just means it's going to be really, really supple uh, and very, very comfortable to wear. Because oftentimes, I'm sorry, I just took that shoe straight out of the shot. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, but uh, um, so it just means it's going to be really, really comfortable to wear on the upper. Of course, we have that via motion technology, that podiatrist design technology underneath the foot. So you're going to be supported. You're going to be balanced with every single step. And then, as you said, you've got that more of that rugged almost outdoor inspired uh, outsole uh, which is just giving that really nice contrast to the more refined upper uh, and then that you know that more rugged outsole so very easily again worn casually wear these with shorts as well like this is oh, I mean, so we're, cute. we're coming into sort of close uh, you know, close, uh, uh, close shoe you know times and and you know starting to sort of lean a little towards fall fashions but tell you what there's a lot of summer left and again these shoes will certainly take you wherever you need to be because I think it does go well um, with some of your shorts even uh, even some maxi dresses and that kind of thing so I think it is a really, really nice look to it. Um, you know, when we when we talk about the the support that a Vionic technology shoe can provide, um, we haven't really seen it from this angle just entirely yet, other than my oh, I don't my know, low Amy. budget yeah, I think, demonstration. I think Sean's, Sean's, trying, to, Sean's oh, no. trying to knock you out. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> so we can we can have a look uh, at what this is going to do. So we can see here the line we've drawn along Amy's arch. Uh, you can see that it's uh, quite flat and close to the ground. And you'll notice that Amy doesn't have a lot of uh, space there underneath her arch. But watch what happens when I realign the foot. Now you see how everything's actually lifted up really nicely. And that's where the foot should be a lot closer to being where it should be in its natural position. When I let Amy go, you can see everything starts to roll over again. Too. And when you roll over a little bit more and you go into that overpronated position, it can actually also cause the foot to elongate a little bit as well. And that's going to put a lot of uh, stress and strain on the soft tissues and joints in the foot and the lower leg. Now, just by putting this orthotic technology, this via motion support underneath Amy's foot, it almost 
by just by looking at it, you almost feel more relieved because you can see there how those gaps have been filled in and you can really clearly see now, instead of that foot rolling over to try and meet the ground, the ground is coming up to meet the foot. And that's what's going to give you the support that you need and quite frankly deserve in the shoes that you wear. I, when you do this demonstration, I'm, I'm always struck by, you know, when you think about how much you weigh, um, mm -hmm. And like, don't say it out loud, but just think about it in your head. Like, how much do you weigh? And how bit, old are bit you? Bit more than it was a few months ago. Right. I don't mind saying. But <laughs> two worst questions. Yeah. No one really wants to I've answer. Been in a good how paddock. old are you? And how much do you weigh? <laughs> but seriously, your body has been carrying that weight for how many ever years you are old on two feet. All of that weight, all of your bones, all of the everything has been teetering and balancing on just your single two feet for your entire life. And so it's really not hard to see that your feet break down. They literally need something more supportive and frankly helpful in terms of the the structure and equation of carrying around your body weight. And so uh, Vionic really has cornered the market on this idea of wellness footwear, but this wrapped inside of a fashion shoe, a yeah. cute little buckled loafer, that's what makes your real point of difference. I agree, yeah, and I think that's what really, this is where Vionic were not just innovators but pioneers in footwear because we're able to apply that technology to styles that you actually want to wear, that styles that you wouldn't necessarily associate with being comfort footwear, you'd associate them being with more on trend, on fashion footwear. By the way, I see what you did here. Was that the red, the white, red, and blue? red white, and blue? It's very, and the belt, I'm, I'm Shoes, now. Navy, yeah. Really good, 